morning. Welcome to News 13 New this morning. I'm Mike Powers. It is Tuesday, June 14th. We'll have the latest on the fires in New Mexico. The Raton blaze that continues to close I-25 and one near Carlsbad at the caverns. That in a moment. But first, this morning's weather blitz and meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke. Welcome back. Good morning. Good to be back. We're going to be looking at hazy conditions again today, but overall it hasn't been as bad for us, and we're going to see the smoke really start to drift southward more for today. Before the metro area, looking at temperatures in the mid-60s with mainly clear skies other than the haze this morning, and then by lunchtime, upper 70s, and temperatures will be a couple of degrees above average. We're going to top out in the low 90s this afternoon. Again, skies right now mainly clear. We may see a few patches of clouds here and there over in the southeast and up in the northern mountains, but overall expect a lot of sunshine that dry trend sticking around for the next week. Things are going to stay really dry for us. High pressure keeping that sunshine around and it has been bringing us more of a southwesterly flow but today slipping on to the south so that's going to push the smoke a little bit farther to the south. So this is what we're looking at. Areas near Socorro, those are going to be areas really impacted T or C. We have air quality alerts again for uh, central and western New Mexico again with most of the action again down towards Socorro and near the border. I'll have more details on that, of course, and that seven days coming up. We're going to be baking in the southeast for the next week. A homeowner loses everything in an overnight fire. Here now is the morning news blitz. A mobile home caught on fire early this morning at the Cochiti Mobile Home Park in southeast Albuquerque, and firefighters tell us it's a total loss. No one was hurt. The Red Cross is helping out the homeowner. Arson. Albuquerque firefighters say a playground was deliberately set on fire at a Northeast Heights Elementary School Sunday afternoon. Albuquerque authorities are increasing fire restrictions starting today. Campfires and other open flames are prohibited in any open city spaces, including along the Rio Grande. Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman used a Republican presidential debate in New Hampshire last night to announce that she's running for president. U.S. Defense Secretary Robert Gates says he sees no roadblocks to ending the ban on openly gay military service. Gates tells the Associated Press that he'll endorse the repeal before the end of the month. And Florida prosecutors say they're wrapping up their case in the Orlando murder trial of Casey Anthony, who was accused of killing her two-year-old daughter nearly three years ago. The prosecution could rest as early as this afternoon. And that's the News Blitz.